goodness. Look at the cookie though. Oh wow. Guys, another drill. The camera eats first. Oh, that looks so delicious. Sunday, a friend of, for me who makes chicken. But that's it off my house. One dollar slice pizza, let's see. Okay guys, and it's time for the second cheat day in New York City and you know the drill, maybe you know it in my last video I say it, my camera was broken and that's why I decided for a voiceover that I can tell you a little bit of everything what I eat and where I've been so don't judge me for this and I hope you will have a lot of fun and if you're new guys, please subscribe my channel I think you will love these videos for sure And for the first place we decided for the bagel store in Brooklyn guys. They got amazing rainbow bagels that we never tried before and that we want to eat for sure. And I was so excited, you can't believe. And here you can see all the ingredients. They got a lot of stuff that you can put into your bagel. Really amazing, delicious stuff. And there are the rainbow bagels, you can see it. And here we got them. So we buy two of us. Uh, one with Oreo cream filling that you can see here. Oh yes guys, a lot of Oreo cream filling. Amazing how it looks like. So delicious. And here we got another one that I buy me. It was cookie dough. Oh yes guys, rainbow cookie dough filling. Oh wow, really such amazing. Only only how it looks like, man, it's not normal. And now guys, it's time for the first bite. Look at this. Look at this deliciousness. Oh yeah! Look at my face, guys. Just look at my face. For the first meal, Directly a sugar coma for sure. That was so amazing and so delicious. You cannot imagine and how much cookie dough. Oh man, a calorie bomb. For sure I was with Alina, a friend for me from Germany, she was also in New York, greetings to you Alina. But now it's time for the Oreo filling guys, look at this, oh my goodness. Oh yes guys, first bite of the Oreo filling and you can see it, oh yes, I was so surprised. That the taste was so much better than from the cookie dough. The cookie dough was also very good, but the Oreo cream filled one, just amazing. And not so, not, not so thick, you know, not so thick like the another one with cookie dough. You can eat this really easier for sure. And it was amazing to eat there for the first spot. Really just amazing. But yes, it was good, but for sure it was not like a real bagel, but you have to try it if you are in New York City, guys, trust me. And now we walk a little bit to the Brooklyn Bridge, take some pictures and have some fun. And now it's time for the second spot and we decided for some ice cream at Eglo. It's also a famous spot on Instagram and they got delicious ice cream, uh, Asian ice cream with an Eglo waffle and a lot of toppings, you can see it. We got some fruity pebbles, some mochis and a black sesame with raspberry ice cream with the warm cone and some pockets on top and we decided to go outside and eat this in the park with a lot of other peoples especially with a lot of Asian peoples, Chinese peoples and it was a great weather for sure it was so warm so 
just perfect to eat it in ice cream outside and guys the taste oh my goodness it was one of the best ice creams that I ever had in my life for sure the taste was so so amazing so refreshing and with a warm waffle cone really just perfect a perfect dessert after the dessert <laughs> Last bite guys, oh wow, just bomb really, also if you're in Chinatown Manhattan, go to Eglo, trust me guys, all the carbs, oh yeah. And guys for the third spot we decided to go to Donut Pub, oh yes, because I never got a cronut and I never eat an apple fritter, so greetings to you Nick and also greetings to Livia, because both of them was there also and Livia says the apple fritter is really good so I have to try it but first the cronut guys and just because I never got a cronut I have to dig in this and for sure cronuts guys yeah make an uh, Instagram story for Nick Dampierre greetings to you bro and if you want to follow me on Instagram and want to be updated what I do right now in the USA just follow me Alan and Fit, like on YouTube. The link is in my description. And now Alina have to try it, and she also loved this so much. But she's team small bites for sure. And the guy in the background also was very nice and friendly. And she sent some greetings to Germany. And what he said that love is everything, and that's true. If you can hear it, I say donut love. So, donut love right now. <laughs> and I was so happy, guys. And now it's time for the second one, the apple fritter. So, greetings to you right now, Olivia. Always hungry on YouTube. Let's see, guys, if this will fit. And maybe you can see it. It fits for sure. I never got an apple fritter and it was really amazing. For sure, Donut Pop make a real good job. So flaked, so delicious, so soft and perfect filled with the cinnamon and apple. Oh man. And she also loved it so much, you can see it in her face for sure. And yes guys, a lot of sugar and that's why I decided to go to eat uh, some savory stuff after that. And we decided to go for a slice of pizza to Two Bros Pizza, a re really famous spot also in New York. And that's why I decided for a one dollar slice and let's see how it tastes. One dollar slice pizza, let's see. So a normal cheese slice and let's go out and try it. For one dollar, really a big slice for sure. And that was really good after all the sweets. For sure, I was so happy. I was so happy to eat some savory stuff after all the sugar. And we walked a lot, guys, you can't imagine. <laughs> but really, after all, after the whole day, I got over 62,000 steps, but you will see it at the end from the video. I, I don't believe it, but over 50 kilometers I walked this day. And yes guys, because we, we spent so much money on food, I gave a homeless people also some food. 
you have to do it if you can't spend so much money for food for sure and after that we make a little break in my hotel room we got 55 54 steps in and uh, before we go to the hotel I was in a Japanese kiosk and buy me two things so this is the Japanese cheesecake it's very fluffy and a bang cotton candy also very delicious because I need some caffeine for sure after the day and right now we eat the cheesecake you can see it so fluffy and it looks so delicious for two dollars and guys just look at my face <laughs> I was so happy again I know a lot of sugar but this is so delicious oh man you cannot imagine this the taste of Japanese cheesecake are so much better than a normal cheesecake I think and this is a pastry also from the Japanese uh, kiosk but it's filled with red bean paste and I love the things I love Asian candies and all of that and here you can see the filling guys just look at it oh my goodness that was really one of the best things today not too high in sugar and really so delicious Yes guys, after the break we go again outside and spend some time on the Times Square and you can see it, Times Square is just one of the best places for sure at the night where you can go with all the amazing lights it looks so beautiful for sure with all the people to be together just a real thing that you have to do when you are in New York City guys but I think you know it And for the last spot, I go to the Halal Guys again, but this time no chicken, this time beef over rice, and I eat a little bit outside, but then I go home because it was late and I was really tired guys, so I eat a little bit outside, then I go home, uh, make a stop on the daily, and buy me a um, protein cookie and also a cup of banana pudding, because I want to try it, because uh, I got one from the Magnolia Bakery, I got one from... I got one also from the World Best Cookie Dough and now one from the Daily Shop to make a compare. If you're in New York, Halal Guys for $7 or $8. And here you can see 62,840 steps guys. That is not normal. I never walked so many steps in my whole life. But if you're in New York, you don't think about the steps, really. You, you only walk and look around and you will never uh, think about your steps, for sure. But after all, uh, you feel it in your legs and <laughs> that's true. And now guys, a lot of white sauce again. And the pita bread with the rice and the beef. Oh man, so delicious, really just amazing. So the plate is done, it's midnight right now, and now it's time for the finisher, just because I love banana pudding. And I have to save my proteins, a protein cookie from Lenny and Larry's, the birthday cake. So let's try first the banana pudding. And I have to say it was better than from the uh, world's best cookie dough, really. The world's best cookie dough banana pudding is also very good, but over $8 for medium cup. And this cup was bigger right now and only four dollars and not too sweet like that from the world best cookie dough. Oh yeah, birthday cake time. And I got some Lenny and Larry's cookies and this is not my favorite one but it's also very good for sure. Not too sweet and only 200 calories for this big cookie
banana pudding, Lenny and Larry cookie dough. A cookie. And this was just perfect for the end. And if you enjoyed this video guys, please leave a comment, thumbs up, subscribe my channel, it will give me a lot and we will see us for sure on the next video but with voice then again I buy me new camera only for the videos so stay tuned guys we we'll see us and after all on the next day I make a run and yeah you can see I sweat a lot <laughs> okay guys that was all we we'll see us goodbye good morning good day I don't know when you see this video peace up from New York or right now from Raleigh.